What's up guys, it's Astro Bros here and we're going to do part three of Hogwarts Legacy. And if you guys know, we left off where Professor Weasley gave me this weird book. I, I, I forgot what it was called, but let's get into it. All right. Hmm. Hey, you. I won't break. Yes, I'm coming. Is she walking? But she was just walking backwards. Right. Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Okay, Revelio. Revelio. Oh. Portrait of Buffalo, guide pages. This portrait depicts the wizard Buffalo, or Barifio, framed, famed as his brain Alexi, Alexir, and his and as an example of the of what happens when indications are import and properly spoken. He once says, I said. So what the said S instead of F and found himself in the on the floor and with a buffalo in his chest. Oh, okay. Pretty random, but okay. I'm mean, actually clearly see he's trying to get the the buffalo off of him. Oh, open guide right here. Cool. Oh, so finally, like, inventory. Gear. <sighs> I have to go to challenges. Uh, I guess that one. Continue. I'm gonna go back. Gear. I know I got something. Where is it? Okay, I like that. All right, um. The, where is it? I know I earned it. Outfit. I swear. Didn't I have like. Okay, so I need to unlock some of these things apparently. Cause I remember I had the dark arts thingamajig inventory. I haven't really fought any enemies. So like basically tracks all my stuff. Oh, whoops. Inventory. Okay. I'm at level one. But like, where's my... Where is it? I know it's here. I had it. Aww. Nor. Mm -mm. Oh my God. <sighs> I'm just going to put on some gloves because um because I kind of want to all right um DT like that's like for pajamas all right I think I'm good
Revelio. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and hey. outside of the castle. <laughs> Now, 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 what the heck was that? There's a, there's a cat. Can I pet the cat? Excuse me, there's some kind of glitch. They can't even like proceed me petting the, the cat. I kind of want to touch you again. I'm sorry, let me just pet the cat. Even though my hand is just basically glitching into the cat, I'm not actually petting it. Let me see this right here. Okay. Nothing. Revelio. <gasps> what the? Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. In the name of, I mean, it could, I could. Here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. I was, I'm. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I've learned almost all of the Goblin Rebellions off by heart. Good for you. I'm... That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And oh yeah, I'd the like Dark to Arts. Sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies I, you require. Can you hear this, guys? You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Butterbeer? They're all like to drink beer. All right. So, um, what's that right there? I see something glowing on the background. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, 
I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Yeah. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Oh, well, yeah. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. Finally. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay, finally. Jeez. Hold on, not right now. Finally, I could. This, you see, the butterflies are moving. Revelio. <gasps> oh, I can't do that. Cool. Okay, now I can run a lot faster. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Yeah. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches can and wizards to guide you. Can you hear that? I think you can. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. There is so many cutscenes instead of actually playing. Oh, uh... Yes, uh, okay. Uh, this represents main quest. Completing main quest will further the story. Unlock new features and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell or a level requirements. In the cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Okay. Hey, what the... The map is enchanted to help you find your way. I know that. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade. I kind of... Including your own wand. Can I skip enjoy. this? I shall reach out when I have more information. For now. Sorry, I kind of had to skip it. I, I probably shouldn't have because... What the cheat? Uh, okay. Not fun. I can just walk there. Get out.
handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. <laughs> Nice. Um. Yeah. So leave me alone. You're creepy because you're uh, you're a statue, literally talking to me. Oh, another cat, of course. I know you like that. Why is there so many cats? Where are the dogs? Where are the dogs? Let's try to go right here. And then let's go right here. Travel. Trava. Right, let's see where did it take me. You've got to be kidding me. It just took me exactly back to where I would came from. What's that music? I dang. Let me in. Oh dang. What the? Oh, it's all the way up there. Why is the castle have to be so huge? Defense of the. Yeah. Um. Oh, what the? Excuse me. Die. the heck yeah um like school and these times are pretty weird we got ghosts running around here it is I began my first lesson Ugh, another cutscene here behind you there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> okay. Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year. Why do all the kids the at, at Hogwarts or all the people talk with an accent? I swear. Passion and rigor Are they all like English? A challenge. Like, yeah. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. So now I'm, so Akio. Akio. Oh! That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Oh. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me.
<sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? That's what I do. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, excellent good happens to the best of us. That's it! Splendid! Now I wanna go get it! Oh. Points to Gryffindor. But uh, uh, great. In playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Sure. Come on up. I need a challenge. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Let us see. Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. Yeah, I know this that. Round settles it all. It does. All right. Watch this. Okay, what? Okay. Okay. Well done. Well done. Yes, I get it. <clears throat> Alright, you're gonna just bump ours. Great. What are you doing to me? Okay, and now. Yes, 50! Yay! Excuse me. Oh. Oh, it's a tide again? Oh my god. Very good, both of you. Well done. I got tied again, twice. Oh my god. Oh, 
Why is there so many cutscenes? Yay! Finally. So I only learned one new spell. A tight game. It turns out we were evenly matched. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. You, so you telling me it took you weeks and only took me a day to get good at it? Wow, I just literally ruined your career. You wasted one week of learn uh, like weeks of learning Akio when I literally am doing like so good on the first day. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. I just realized, is, wait a minute, is like Hogwarts a college or like some kind of high school? It might be like a university kind of college. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It nice. always felt like home. Okay. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? It addresses Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Surely the magic is weaker. Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. I find wandless magic to be. Wait, much so more there's more than steep. one? Place that teaches magic? If one is without them, one. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Yeah, pretty dramatic. All right. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do this Wagadu. I didn't even know. A Wagadu is kind of a weird name. I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. I didn't even know. Until next time. I didn't even know there was a another magic school called Wagadu. You can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Akio! You'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Bestie. You know You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Yes. What? An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? And what a close match between you and Miss Onai. Invigorating. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. I expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Great. Now I get a... Who is this guy? Oh, I leveled... Did I just level... I leveled up. Jesus kid. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Um, good for you. Um, why are you just standing, you're sitting here, like, just reading? Oh my god. Did this kid fall asleep? After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that. Cutlery flying everywhere. Quite oh, it's that girl. Stuff, really. It's that girl. Great, so where are we going? You're the new student, aren't you? Hello, you wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. 
You're yeah. student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. Well, so. You seem to hold your own in charms. By people to So, like, you're literally telling me that people are, are talking about me. Why? Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Why? Well, you're obviously weak. Um, because they're actually pretty easy. Revelio. Revelio. And then the werewolves join the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the <laughs> Goblin Rebellion of 1752. Oh my god, it's a no. clown. <laughs> Die, ghost! I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight. It's a bold attack. Was the Minister of Boot or the Minister of Flat? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus' boot. It was a boot, and it was a flat. But you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> <laughs> He must be. He must be very annoying. Oh. Does that say level one? I'm literally on level one, so like, what's the big idea? Oh my god! All right, um, let's see this. All right, so I'm like, so it's like. So there's different places I can teleport. Let's teleport right here. Trouble. I'm guessing it's in the hall thingamajig. The hallway. Because that's the only places you could. Why do they like talking like that? Goodness gracious. Oh my god, am I back to where I'm oh my god Oh my gosh. I am totally from Hogwarts because I have the accent. I am so kidding. Oh my gosh. I my Ravenclaw. Oh my god! There's a ghost! Die, ghost! Oh, wait. He's already dead. Also, why is there, like, some kind of Illuminati sign right here? Rebellion. Oh. These are the spells that I can unlock. Nice. What, are you up to now? what do you mean? Rebellion. Nice. New area. Could spawn into Deer. Stividity. I cannot pronounce that. You'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at Kenbridge who conceded that they had in fact been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. It seems that Irish astronomer and a British astronomer, astronomer, both built upon the work done upon the the work done by the Italian astronomer. All muggles, mind you, as far as I know, to propose calculating the position of the dust of the Earth's orbit means means of meters to commence 
so and brilliance really i'm just gonna leave that out for a sec you can you guys can read it because i kind of want to uh move on oh where is this why is it so far why is it all the way over there I think it's gonna send me outside. I think this is gonna send me outside. Let's see. Gosh, all right. It should be right over here, right? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna jump. Jump! I can't jump up, unjump off of anything. Have I not? Oh my God. The music. Revelios. Accio. Oh my god! I just totally destroyed this. Here it is. Finally. <laughs> Oh, this is the defense thing. Professor Hecket! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now. You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Wow. I mean, I didn't Too ask about any of that. age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? Levioso? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what I we guess this is. Learned. I know what this Starting is. With something small. This is the. This is the defense of the dark arts. Wait, I. I got it, Levioso. Levioso. That's all I could pick up a feather? Seriously? Even air could pick that up. That's how easy now, it is. Let's try something a Look at bit. her wand. Her wand is like weird. Oh great. She's gonna tell me to do Levioso or something. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. Yeah. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pruitt so artfully helped me. So, now, the basic is well done. Did I do it? Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Oh. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso, Protego. Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. How is this kid not like dying? Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Stupid. Complicates things. 
But I'm literally beating up this guy. How is this allowed? Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I want to fight him again. I want someone that will actually give me a challenge. Seriously, that was pretty easy. He's pretty bad, bro. And he's probably been there for like, like probably two years, and I just started. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Yeah, I kid. I know that. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Nice. Yay, no. Right. That's enough spectacle for one. Back here. Class is dismissed. Levioso. No, I want to lift up this guy. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Oh. Sebastian? Oh my god. Sebastian. It's a pretty nice name. Actually, I think that's a pretty cool name. No, not. Come on, I'm trying to. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Guess what? I don't care if you're trying to make things friendly. You're going to have to protect yourself. You're going to tell that to the darker. Oh. Oh, okay. What happens if I don't leave? Will it, like, kill me or something? I want to see what happens. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What? The, don't tell me it's gonna make me start over. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Okay, that's Class it. Is dismissed. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Salo, by the way. Good, very good name. I actually really like that name. The then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. What? Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Yeah. I did the dark arts class. Now I know how to do Leviosa. And now I can lift people in the air whenever I want to. Like, that's not hilarious enough. Rebellion. These are now all the ones I have. I have Leviosa. Leviosa. Ow. So these are... These are, like, usually all, like, fighting. What the... Alright, anyways, um, let's go. 
off on another Rebellion. adventure, are we? Oh well, yeah. Alright. Where's my next class? It's all the way over here, so let's see. That. Great. Just another long walk back. Ah! <clears throat> I mean, I don't want to walk even more and more and more. Or are you Sebastian? Sebastian, actually. Because apparently his name is Sebastian. Sebastian. Should be right here, right? I would assume it would be. Okay. Are all these people like even voice act? Let's see this. Oh, what the? Uh, um. So yeah. Um. No. No. Ah, it won't work. All right. Be right here, right? How much higher do I have to go? If it even is like right here. I've always said travel broadens the mind. Professor Fig has a classroom? This is Professor Fig's classroom. No. I didn't even know he like was a teacher here. Oh my god, I have to like Oh my god. Let's see that. No. All right, so let's teleport. Trouble. right here here it is but what is this did I just... what about the room professor yeah same thing Deke. perhaps you could help <laughs> oh uh, excuse Deke. I oh. forgot what was that other Guy's name from Harry Potter, put in the comments, what was his name? He was like the elf guy that Harry Potter like I goes. trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near, what was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Yes. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. I've tried to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, oh. Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander, will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior.
Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? Jerry Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. Hmm. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most of you are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have <sighs> someone nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Nice. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Mm. Let's see. Let's go with him. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And yeah. He knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the three broomsticks. Nice. Alright, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Because, um... I have to uh, start getting ready to, well, it, because I'm pretty busy now, so now I, and now I have to go, so, I hope you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe, and, well, peace out.